I'll be shooting my Savage 10 FP and 223 Remington. I'll be shooting Black Hills remanufactured 75 grain match hollow point. The rifle scope, I just took it off my Remington 700 308 from my previous video. And as I currently don't have a rifle scope for this rifle, so I'll be using this one here for now. Off of it, I'll be using my Caldwell Tech Driver. I know I have a bipod, but I just want to get a little more accurate with this sandbag here. I got to zero it first. Okay, coming off a bore sight, just looking down the barrel, through the barrel, and centering the reticle to where it was pointed at. I initially shot M193 ball ammo just to get it within the area, then I switched over to the match rounds. Here's bore sight one, bore sight two, bore sight three, and then I switched over to match rounds. Here's the first round, second round, and third round. And I just went a little to the right now, and I feel confident enough to leave that and call it a zero. Okay, for the tracking test for my US Optics ST10, I usually use my 223 bolt rifle because it's light recoiling and it's pretty accurate for general hunting and just ring and steel. But we'll start here, three rounds, go 10 minutes up, three rounds, 10 minutes left, three rounds, 10 down, three rounds, and final should be back right in that area. Okay, I slipped the rings to zero and zero. Now, let's start the box test. That's the baseline there. Ten up. Ten minutes up. These are half minute adjustments. Aiming at the same target. It should hit 10 minutes up. Another three. Ten minutes left. 
These are quarter minute adjustments. Two minutes, three minutes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten minutes left. Aiming at the same spot again. And three minutes down. Correction, 10 minutes back down. All right, back at zero again. And 10 minutes back to the right for a complete box of 10 minutes each direction. Okay. that one up. I pulled that one to the right. I mean that previous shot, I pulled it to the left, I mean not to the right. All right, back at zero, back at zero. Let's go check it out. Now here's the end result here. Now do keep in mind, one minute does not exactly equal one inch. Ask any seasoned shooter that, he will tell you, he or she will tell you it equals about 1.047 inches. So using 10 minutes, one minute times 10 equals 10.47 or we'll round it off to 10.5 inches, okay? So 10 minutes should be 10 and a half inches. So here we have our initial three here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 0 0.4, 0 0.5. All right, good. Next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 0 0.6, 0 0.5. In that area, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'll take that. That's okay. So, coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten and a half. 
and clustered them on the outside. That's the one I pulled on the left I was talking about. So I would say US Optics is good to go. The red ones are M193s, my ciders. And here's the Black Hills Mitch rounds for zero point six eight two minutes center to center. Okay, here's my first group, the green one. Point of aim stays here, 10 minutes up. 0.285, center to center, 10 minutes left. 0.687, 10 minutes down. 0.83 minutes. And 10 minutes right. My last one, that one measured at 0.569. Mm, all of them added up to 2.7 inches, divided by five groups, 0.4 minutes of angle. Average for, for this paper here. Okay.